Hi everyone, so this is the second full day, full Sunday run and I'm at the top of Chateau Chinon which is my end point. I've run 110 kilometers today, I've been on the road for almost 19 hours now and I haven't slept for my god 28 hours so I'm desperately tired I don't feel it yet but I know it will come and it's been a very very long very hard day uh, I've got a lot of bad um, bad things coming together to make it harder and uh, the second part of the night run has been really hellish uh, that's the best word I can use to describe it but uh, I'm here uh, I've done my best uh, long distance run I've never run that much so I've just outrun a little bit my previous record uh, and actually I've been slower but this is for several reasons mainly uh, I hadn't slept much so I already had a full day before me, uh, before that. I was tired, uh, I was tired from previous runs, I didn't have my uh, my, um, my pills with magnesium that allow me to recuperate faster. Uh, it, it's just, you, as you can see around here, right now it's not raining, but even though it's not raining, there is mist everywhere. Uh, everything is uh, the air is just full of water it's it's impressive everything is wet from the first to the last little thing and as you can see all there from the forest is rising uh, clouds are rising evaporating and there is wind carrying it around so this is the landscape that you find in Morvan. Morvan is, a, is a, quite a small region, it's about maybe a hundred kilometers from north to south. It's a lot of small valleys, it doesn't go much higher than 500 meters. And uh, so it's really small hills, but it's really nice. There's a lot of woods, it's quite isolated. So it's really, really a great place to, to run, to hike, to be on a bike. There are lots of paths. Now, the first part of the night was okay. It was really hard because everything was wet. So technically it was very difficult, especially I had to run alongside the river. Stones everywhere, impossible to see the way. This was really difficult. Uh, the second part after the first rest, the first five hours, I ran my, I ran my 35 kilometers. But the second part was impossible. I just, I couldn't do it. I, I was tired. I, I had to stop after five kilometers after the first rest to just sleep for half an hour. And I, uh, after that, it got a little easier. But then it got back to, to harder again. I was really slow. It, it, it got, um, uh, you know, this feeling that you just want to give up. You want to lay down and and sleep because I was sleeping while running and this is a very strange thing which is that your eyes are closing and you, steep tr you still keep on running and uh, and you feel like you're in half a dream but this is a nightmare this is not a dream and um, th this is a terrible feeling uh, it's really hard I really thought that I would have to stop a second time to uh, to sleep again but Happily, I outlasted it. I didn't find a second shelter, uh, a third shelter, I mean. And uh, it, uh, when dawn came, everything got better. Uh, that, that's the thing that solved it. Basically, running at night, I had this light that was focused in front of me. And you have the same effect and, and as when you're in a car, which is basically that um, what happens is you get tired because you're your eyes are focused on the light so you always look in the same direction and there's this feeling of dizziness I, I was really dizzy I was uh, it was really weird not really nice and when dawn came things got better simply because light activates uh, 
part of the brain that tells it not to sleep and at night it was that urge to, to lay down and sleep no matter what and uh, every step was hard, every, every stop was hard because when I stopped and, and I had to stop a lot I had to slow down a lot, I had to walk a lot and all the time the, the only feeling was just lay down and sleep and this is the worst thing to do because laying down I only did it in closed places that happened to be this um, square, uh, square um, it was built in the 19th century the square rooms where there is water in the middle and it's made for women to, to wash the clothes by hand and happily I found two of these places at uh, good moments and I was able to, to stop there, sleep, eat, do my, get my first rest so I stopped quite a lot uh, that's one of the reasons I was so slow the second reason is the second part of the night was just slow slow to hell hellishly slow uh, it was hard it was really really uh, this was a problem of morale uh, it was really hard to keep on going so that's it uh, when dawn came I got faster and what happened is that the final stop when I got to uh, to Rouen Morvan uh, I, this was amazing this is Sunday and there was a small store opened uh, I never saw this in, in these small places and uh, even uh, there was a pharmacy opened um, and I, I got to buy these magnesium pills that I needed and after that everything got better, I ate, everything got better, I felt better, I felt lighter, so I was able to push and this is how I was supposed to feel, so this run is not how I'm supposed to run, I know I can run at least, at least 10 kilometers faster in my actual state. So that's it. This was a great experience. I really love this place. There is, a, I have a long history at this place. I spent about 10 summers uh, at least one month each time here hiking with my dad and my sister. This is where I learned how to hike. This is where I got to, to hike 30 kilometers, got to, to 40 kilometers and I learned it. And this run was a pure revenge too. Because long when I was much younger maybe 10 years ago five years ago I don't remember exactly I, I wanted to walk through uh, to hike through from Morvan from north to south so basically the same path and on the second day I pushed too hard I had a, a bag that was too heavy boots that were too heavy and I just got a tendonite I, I couldn't walk the, the third day I had to call a cab and get home and this was a real humiliation and a real lesson uh, I always tended to, to put too much in my backpack and this is the, the worst thing that, can, that you can do and my shoes were too heavy and this is really bad too. so having done this however hard even though it's not what I planned at that in, in the first place well I took my revenge I'm really glad I love this place this is amazing to hike and seeing it in this period uh, in under the rain it's, it's, it's really unique it, I hate this rain but at the same time it's magnificent there is something quite unique about the feeling that you get when you're here uh, when it, it didn't it's almost it almost never stopped raining so it was really hard technically because I wanted to recharge my phone but uh, despite that uh, there's something really beautiful about a completely wet forest and about rain dropping all the time droplets going all the time so that's it thanks for watching i've been quite long today i know uh, and uh, i hope to see you soon it was really nice running this and now the goal is run longer run faster combine the both combine both and get better at all of this managed to run uh, things I couldn't run before get in the mountains more and get better at all of this and finally get to this run around the world that I've been speaking for so long so see you soon and have fun